to do a journal flip through of my September journal. Um, I haven't really been much active on YouTube lately. Um, I'm gonna try to get back into it. I just, I don't know. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't feel like doing it the end of last year. And then the whole child law thing happened and I just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying, I'm gonna be back. So, um, anyway, I got this journal, I think, in Canada last year. Uh, it's Studio O. And, um, I found it on Amazon, so I can link that down below. I uh, kept a hair tie on it to, you know, keep it shut so nothing fell out of it. So, when you open it up, um, I don't like to do, like, a cover or, like, any, like, a mood board. Um, so I just have a picture of Alice. I have the dimensions of the journal. Uh, I have a picture of a goat and a sticker I made. Uh, I never actually did this page. I was gonna do, like, a, like, a selfie or something, but I never put anything out. Um, this is Washi Tate's from my Zen Pop box. It's, a uh, Sin Roll, San Rio character. I think it's really cute. Uh, this is from Emily Journals. She actually made this as like a printable, so I printed it out and put it in here. And I got some dogs. Uh, my, my husband put that on my uh, label maker, and I just printed it out because I thought it was cute. Uh, I went to Starbucks with my friend after I helped her clean her new house, so she rewarded me a Starbucks, and I thought this would be cute to put in here. So a picture of us. I got a Scooby Doo shirt with a matching mask, and I thought that was interesting. So I just cut the tag out. These are also from Emily's journals. Uh, she actually drew these ones on Procreate. So got those out, have a little unicorn spread going on. Uh, I was really into the Promised Neverland, so you'll see a lot of these three in here. Whenever I'm really into something, I like find a whole bunch of pictures of them and just print a bunch out. So then I just use them throughout my journal. So you know, that's why you'll see a whole bunch of them. Like now, <laughs> here's another picture. Um, I helped my mom put together a chicken coop, so that's me inside the coop. Uh, here's like a super pink page, just my vomiting pink stuff, I guess, I don't know. I got this at Dollar Tree and I colored it in and stuck it in here. Um, Labor Day, I have this like really sparkly red tape. And um, that's my nephew, and that's my friend's baby. More of my friend, uh, when we were cleaning her house, I got her a little gift basket. My dad at Costco looking at the Halloween stuff. Um, more random anime stuff. I got, this is Tokyo Ghoul washi tape, and it's pretty thick. Uh, I think I got on AliExpress last year, and I really like it. Um, this tape came from Daiso. My husband got it for me in, um, California. And just a yellow page. And then I decided to swatchy, or swatchy, swatch, whatever, all of my washi tape that I own, so. And there's more now. <laughs> But this was all the tape that I had at that time that I could find. I also found tape afterwards, too. So, um, here's a currently page. So, just, like, all the stuff I'm currently doing. Like, what I'm drinking, eating, what's my favorite song, just all that stuff. Uh, my dog. So, I made a page to him. This came from a vet bag from my coworker that she just gave to me for here. This is a dollar my other coworker gave me, Papa Mike. Uh, he said to use it towards my uh, sticker business or my cricket or whatever before I bought one. So I thought that was cute. So I just kept it in there. Um, Seven Daily Sins. I'm really obsessed with King. He's my favorite character. And Diane's is like significant other or love interest. So there's lots of pictures of them in here too. So yeah, no, I just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, here's like a little tipping thing. More of them, because they are adorable too. More. Here's some Pokemon stuff I got. This tape from Dollar Tree, actually, and I really like it. Um, here, here's when I ordered my Cricut. So I printed it out because I was excited. I found this on Instagram and thought it was funny. Um, there was like a thing going around where people would redraw the lo-fi girl in different cultures. So I found this one of the Star Wars Forces of Evil. And I made this. I love Bakora from Yu-Gi-Oh, so anytime I find really cute stuff from him, I put it in there. This guy's the one that drew it. I cannot pronounce his name, but check him out on Instagram. He's pretty cool. Um, I got some meat from the local butcher shop. Butcher shop. Sorry, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> 
So I got their card, and then I got some more tapes. And here's my little doggy I made. Uh, some sword art stuff from Alice and Yugio. Um, I love yellow. I love Alice because she's yellow, so I can do all these yellow spreads of her. Uh, my grandma and my husband. Another Alice page. I went to Coney Island in Fort Wayne. I love that place. My family's been going there for years. So I got some more Coney Island swags. So I got a shirt. I got a sticker. I got some Coney Island socks because I love socks. So <laughs> now I have Coney Island socks. Uh, more King stuff. Um, brand new animal was really good. This was on Netflix. So I put that in there. I got these stickers at Michael's on Clarence. It was like a dollar for a sticker book. It was a really good deal. Uh, there's a cookie, a little narwhal. I went to a wedding, and this slips up if I can get it. It has my smoothie king on it. And then I kept a petal from their wedding in here. Uh, I love kitchen towels. I don't know why, I'm weird I guess. But this is the newest one I got, so I just kind of stuck it in here. And then these are all the stickers I made with my Cricut. Uh, I'm still testing it, I'm still learning, but so these are the ones I drew on Procreate and then exported them, printed them, all that good stuff. I also made these little gnomes. This is the cover for the fair um, B section I did at my work. That goat was adorable. Uh, it's a picture of my dad, my grandma, uh, journaling about. She had uh, something taken off her face, so she has stitches and stuff, and I just kind of talked about that. Um, this is a copy of a folder from Target. I thought it was cute. Um, some Pokemon stuff. My niece's first soccer game I went to. I have no idea who won. She kind of, <laughs> she kind of laid there. Didn't really do much, but you know she's five. Some more King stuff and Diane. Uh, an octopus I drew. Uh, I got these two gnomes from this lady on Instagram called Lola Gnomes, and uh, they're really cute. She hand makes these, and they're not too expensive. I think they're like two for twenty four or something. But she, she's really nice, and they're so cute. I have so many of them now. <laughs> um, Lo-Fi Girl again, but I thought this one was interesting because it's like a apocalyptic-type quarantine one. And I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, symbolizing California because it was on fire recently. I don't know. And then <laughs> my husband showed me some YouTuber that, like, I don't know if his emo's not dead is his name or what, but he's just, like, being emo even though it's 2020. <laughs> Uh, another folder from Target. This one was my co-workers, and I just copied that one because it was cute. Um, I made some cash envelopes because I'm super into budgeting and the cash envelope system. So, and I'm actually using this one right now for winter slash fall slash whatever. <laughs> um, there's some cat page. My co-worker that's next to me has a cat calendar. So she gives me the daily calendars every day, and I just kind of pick the ones I want to put in here. And here's some William stickers I made with my doggy. Love him. Um, this is I finally got Patreon for a girl I've been following on Instagram for a while. I just I love her art style, so I finally finally did it. I got like the highest tier she got, so I get all these goodies in the mail now. Uh, you should go follow her. I will link her down below. I don't know how to say her name, but <laughs> I think it's Cecile maybe, but it's uh, sissyartcafe.com. Uh, uh, and her envelope's cute. Uh, here's the anime filter that's been on Snapchat. So it's my, my husband and my coworker Mike. Um, my husband, I made some Olive Garden copycat. You know, it's really, really, really good. And I think I put the recipe. Yeah, I put the recipe on the back of it. Um, more Promise Neverland stuff. Uh, I was ranting here, so that's why it's covered, because I don't really want people to, like, I don't know, read it. <laughs> um, but here's some more sword art stuff. This is from the last episode. This is, like, announcing they're doing something new, which I'm excited for. Um, I found this. I think it was on my Facebook. It's on, um, Web Novel. Is it Web Novel or Webtoon? I don't know. It's some, like, little comic thing. It's really cute. It's called Down the Earth. Um, and then I got this sticker on some Happy Mail from a pen pal in New York. Uh, this is supposed to be a stuff, stuffed bell pepper soup. I don't know what. Every time I make it, though, it's not soup. It's like Spanish rice. But anyway, it's delicious. So I just took a picture of that. Um, more Emma Norman. More cats. Oh, actually, this is my coworker's cat. 
She adopted a blind cat from the shelter. It has no eyeballs. His name's Melvin. He's so cute. <laughs> and every time I get a picture of him, I put Google eyes on him because, I don't know, I'm, I'm like that, I guess. Um, went to the apple orchard with my um, brother and his family. He was not very happy. So I just cut the bag up from the bag of apples I got. And then I had this apple washi that I got at, I think, at Meyer maybe. Um, more of them. Here's a postcard that I got in Emily's Happy Meal thing she gave me. So I stuck it in here because, you know, it's fall time. I uh, surprised my coworker with um, a little baby Yoda in a Starbucks thing because she was having a bad week. So I was kind of wanted to give her something. Um, I, I had a really bad week too. So this is a, a picture I took of myself. Um, here's my niece of her chickens and uh, my <laughs> nephew, my other nephew. Uh, he was getting away. I was supposed to do something here, but I don't remember what. Uh, then I went to the pumpkin patch. Uh, I went to a place called Steely Farms. So I, you know, get their business card. And I put a picture of my nephew with his mom. And this other stuff. I bought them suckers. So I took a picture of them with their suckers. Um, some more pictures. A uh, sticker I bought from the store, me picking his pumpkin for him while cutting the vine or whatever. Uh, more pictures, and then this Cooper, oh, I can't, super cute card I got from Emily, and I put my nephew Connor in the inside because he's adorable. <laughs> he's a little stud muffin. And then me and my niece. Um, I went to my nephew's football game, so that's him. And I'll journal about that. This, uh, I actually don't play this game. I, my boy, uh, my boyfriend, my husband plays this game. And, um, every time I find a meme or something, I always print it out because I think it's funny. So, <laughs> I put that in there to remember how popular it was. Um, my dog and I went to a bonfire. I made steak one night. Um, my pen pal in Japan actually sent me these. They were, uh, fruit stickers. So, I just took one of each and stuck it in there and then tied it into here. So, I always have it. I got some happy mail. <laughs> this is a quote my uh, coworker said the other day. I'm gonna go cry over my raviolis. I thought that was funny. And then I think I paper, yeah, paper clipped the rest of the pages because I was just kind of done with this journal. And then, uh, yeah. Like I said, the binding is uh, <laughs> is breaking pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can fix that. But uh, it was a really fun journal. Um, Going into it, I didn't think I'd like it because the lines were so, like, wide. But, um, I got over it. I got used to it, but. So, yeah, that is my journal for September of 2020. And I am starting a new journal, which I actually have to work or I would show you. <laughs> um, and then after this next journal I'm doing, it'll be my holiday journal. And I'm super excited for that one because that's, like, my favorite journal to do. So... Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will try to get more content on this channel uh, for anyone who wants to see it. Alright.